A lot of people have been asking me about what happened when I was at the Deep Ellum Arts Festival because they were looking for me and ready to support. And I was there, but... <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> I got me one of these cute little mics and I want to talk. Like, I want to talk. So, here's a story time for y'all. My name is Imani Black. I'm a photographer, content creator, and visual artist based in Dallas, Texas. A couple months ago, I was in an art show in Deep Ellum. I have a deep history with Deep Ellum. I've always had a good time out there always have fun, always been involved, always talked and worked with businesses and things like that. Years pass, my career is going up, taking more seriously and known for great achievements, curating art galleries at coffee shops, um, curating like places like Trinity Cider, putting my work in places like Kettle Art and so forth. And like transitioning from being like, you know, having a good time, like a party time in Deep Ellum to more of a business, art business time in Deep Ellum. Time has passed, you know, more mature. And I finally feel comfortable to be in the Deep Ellum Arts Festival. It's such a big deal about me being in the show for me because like I said, I was partying out there. So it's like, you went from spending money to making money in Deep Ellum, which is a big deal did some promo for it like a couple days before did a long photo shoot with one of my friends so then the day of you know it's the first day i'm lit i'm high i'm already getting well received from the different guests who come by see people i know but you know that day i ended up only being able to participate for one day because you can't control mother nature let's just say that <laughs> mother nature gonna do what mother nature do Okay. It was such a beautiful day. Didn't even expect none of this to even go down the way it did. So Augusta one had came through and where I was positioned, it was like an alleyway. I know physics a little bit. So like, it's a bit more intense when you're like in a, in a narrow space versus like being more out in the open. And it was just like a gust of wind just like swept through. It knocked over me and the person that's next to me, our stuff, but her stuff didn't get messed up like mine did. Like my tent literally flew. I literally flew away. And the other part of what kind of just like went wrong that day as well is my glass prints broke. So one had already broke like before the whole tent had flew. And I was like, okay, fine. It's just one. It's okay. I'll leave it alone. I had four. The other two had got messed up when the tent had flew. So it like flew away. Like the tent flew, all the prints got knocked down. I was so hurt. Like I was so hurt, so done, so over it. I was just like, I put all this time and money into this project where I was supposed to be so proud. I was trying to get out of my comfort zone and like doing bigger vendor events. So, you know, it was a challenge for me. And I really was thinking I ate that. And then mother nature just kind of like, was like, uh-uh, you got some, you got some learning to do. Did not know at that time, it was so important to have weights. And I just kind of skipped on that. And that was the one thing I literally skipped on. Like I invested in everything else and I already had a lot of stuff too, because I've been doing vendor events. But I skipped on the weights and the weights ended up being the thing that was probably going to help me more if I had them versus not because my stuff got messed up. The person next to me, their tent flew a little bit, but they had weights. They were, they just had a little bit of weights. And it, I noticed, I was like, wow, here's a difference between when you don't have weights versus when you do have weights. Her stuff did get a little messed up, but she was able to come back from it. But me, my stuff was totally messed up. My tent was messed up. I'm like, I'm not about to hustle and bustle to go get some, uh, you know, to go get another tent and get weights and everything. Like I'm, I'm actually really done. I'm over it. This was day one. It was that Friday. A lot of people have been asking me about what happened when I was at the Deep Ellum Arts Festival because they were looking for me and ready to support. And I was there, but <laughs> that happened and it just kind of ruined my weekend and I just didn't want to do it. I spent that time that weekend instead of being at the arts festival because I was done with it, <laughs> mentally drained, done. I went and rebuilt my website. Um, I really like, I was very proud of that because I've been wanting to redo my website for a minute because I wasn't feeling the colors and everything and I needed to build out some projects better so I could tell like a story better because that is important. Months later, time has passed, uh, done other vendor events since then. So I'm not completely turned off from them. But 